Whoa, whoa, whoa. What, what in the world are you doing to those brackets? I'm trying to put J-hooks on them. Sounds the haters. Greg, who cares about the haters? We know we don't need J-hooks, but if you really feel inclined, let's go inside the shop. I got a tools day tool for you that'll make that job a lot easier. All right, buddy. So that rebar bender is great if you're going to occasionally bend rebar and you like physical work, which I, I would, know you're I, all about. Yeah, I don't. No, you are all about it. So <laughs> everybody kind of knows how a rebar bender works. You've got these three little, and this is a manual rebar bender. You've got these three little uh, bars. And as Greg was you know, showing, you can put this on the ground, do a lot of leverage, do a lot of bending. Put a lot of work into it. It's a lot of fun. Well, let me show you a tool. It's gonna make this a lot easier. You might have to help me pick this up. Yeah, yeah, let me help you. It's a, it's a big boy. Okay, this is the Metabo HPT metal bender slash cutter. Cutter so too? this does not do any cutting. You ready for this? Look at that. Oh man, look, I even brought some uh, safety glasses so when we demo this, we can be nice and safe. So, oh this, my gosh. That boy's heavy. Oh, good lord. Yes. Yeah, that's really heavy. Battery operated, or this is kind of one of the perks of the Metabo HPT multi-volt system, is you can either run it off of their batteries, or you can buy the AC power adapter. So, you know, people are always gonna say, yeah, but when I'm out doing a job and I've got a whole foundation to bend rebar for, I need more than just the heck is that? I need more than just a couple cuts. Well, we're going to talk about the capacity of this, the cut amount that you can cut off of one battery they claim, or how many bends you can you can do. But let me go ahead and get rid of this because we're not going to need this. But you can here. Let's just show them. Yeah, how this how does this open up? That slides off, right? Yeah, Atta boy. So that slides off so that you can use this adapter, or in case you're using the battery, you can put it in if you're outside in wet locations. So this guy, let's clean this up here, Greg, and reset here so we can get all this out of the way. First, I'll tell you, I've never used this. In fact, you can probably tell it's brand new. I've used the bender. Hey, what is that? Well, let's, uh, let's show you, buddy. Set that bad boy right there. So this is a learning experience for me as well. Oh my. Is it like a, a net? It's a net and goes it goes, here. goes goes on here goes here. Yeah. 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 Sure. See, I've, I've never used it. <laughs> Look at this. I, I don't know what you're going to use this for. I guess if all of your bends are within this radius, you might use it, but it's going to protect hmm. somebody. I'm sure this is a legal thing that we're never going to use. So here, I'm going to go ahead and take that box out of the way. Yep. All right. So what is awesome about this tool is, first off, I think it's like super solid built, right? Um, this is part of the Metabo HPT system, like I said before. And with this tool, you can bend and cut number three, number four, and number five rebar. Now, do you know what those sizes I are? I have no idea what those sizes Lucky are. Lucky for you, I do, and I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so what Greg was bending um, outside, he was trying to bend a number five rebar, which is a 5 8 inch rebar. Greg, grab that guy right there. That is what you were bending outside. Now, this is a pretty substantial piece of rebar. Uh, that's a number five. And then this right here is a number four, which is gonna be half inch. And then you go to number three, which is three eighths. This guy can do all those. It can bend and cut them. And in fact, it will cut three pieces. Sorry, you might be able to cut three, but they claim it will bend up to three pieces of number three Jeez. at once two pieces of number four at once, or one piece of five eighths number five. Now, obviously it's gonna cut all those. Um, what's really cool is, you know, you had to manually kind of figure out where your angle was. Yeah, I wasn't good at it either. You don't have a lot of experience, bro. You could be great <laughs> at it, I know that. This right here, you have a dial, and we can adjust and change it to the exact degree of bed, which we're gonna show you very quickly. Now, you might be asking, because we kind of talked about it, how many cuts, how many bends are you going to get on one battery? Well, Metabo claims, and I've never, you know, put it to this amount because I've never had to do this much at once, 270 
five eighths rebar cuts oh gosh. and 520 90 degree bends off of one battery. I'm not sure if that equates exactly to triple the amount of bends if you're using uh, three number threes at the same time, but that's a lot of bending and cutting. And if you really needed more, you can get the adapter, but I don't think that's really necessary for, for what most people use case is. All right, now I know you guys want to see this in action, so we're gonna do that. But first I wanna let you know that this is not a cheap tool. You're not going to, Greg, probably want to buy this if you're just gonna randomly try to silence the haters with a couple rebar bends on the end of our brackets. This is like a $2,400 tool, but it's one of those tools that if you're in the business of bending rebar, doing concrete work, form work, you know, working in that industry, it's invaluable in my opinion because anytime you can reduce the stress and the load off your body, make it easier, quicker, and with all of these beautiful, um, you know, selectable degrees, it's precise every time. You don't have to be a skilled laborer. You just need to be able to put it in here as you'll see and do your work. So let's go ahead, set this up, and we're gonna bend and cut some number uh, four rebar, and then we're gonna put a couple J hooks on the end of our five eighths number five rebar so that we can uh, silence those haters out there on the social media world. All right, let's go ahead and get this out of the way first, Greg, because I think this will be an easier way to demo with just this yeah. guy here. And what we've got, let's, let's show this in action first. So I'm gonna pull the trigger. I've got it set at 90 degrees. We're gonna go ahead and just go all the way to 180, just so you can see it. Hello. Okay, so I know that looked extremely impressive, but it's more impressive when it's actually doing something worthwhile. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set this in here. You'll notice we've got this like positive stop here. That is kind of like your little nub on your manual um, bender. And then this would be like your other nub. Instead of you having to physically tilt this around, That's too easy. Yeah. That's way too easy. That is insanely easy. Now, obviously, you can get intricate. You can do a lot of different things, but that's the 180-degree bend. Let's do a 90-degree bend. So where's that? Uh, yeah, where? where is, I don't know. We had one that we were playing with. This, uh, is this it? I don't know. No, that's not it. That's not it. But that is a nice, perfectly tight, 90 degree bend. It's not as easy to do with something like that. Now there are other manual rebar benders out there that you can get. Ooh, feel that. Is that a little warm? That's a little oh, warm. Yeah. Yeah, from the metal bending. But this is a precise, beautiful 90, super tight, and it was literally this much work. That's, right? that's easy. Yeah. So we've got all the different degrees. We've got 0, 45, 90, 135, and 180. Um, and then you've also got this little selector here that says cut. So mm -hmm. that's the beauty of this. Not only are we going to be able to bend our rebar, but we flip this little guy here. It's bright yellow for safety because you want this closed. Oh, that's where it's yeah. at. We're gonna flip this around so the camera can see it. Greg, let's put our safety goggles on, just in case some debris flies. I value your eyes as much as I value mine. I'm gonna let you pull the trigger. All right. And we're gonna set this in here. Now, go ahead and pull it first. Let's see it work. So it's still doing a full 180 degree turn because that's probably the leverage point uh, and how much leverage it needs to turn that. But now we're gonna go ahead and let's just set this in here. Go ahead and do your cut, man. Are you ready? Wait, wait. This is actually how you do it because you're not always working in small pieces of rebar. You might have a 20 foot piece that true, you need true. to cut down. Go ahead and cut it. Not a bad way to do it. Pretty effortless. That was pretty easy. I mean, was it hard? No, no. No struggle. Oh, my finger's a little tired, but I'll get over it. Do you want to go ahead and make a bend? Yeah, let's uh let's put some uh let's put some J hooks on. Yeah? Why, man? Because the, the Instagram, YouTube, they say we need it. Okay, so yep, you gotta flip that. Now what what kind of a bend are you gonna do here? Mm. 
Let's go, let's do a 45, right? Or do you want to go 90, probably? Bro, this is your world, man. You let's do, let's you do, let's do 90, them. let's do it. Okay, so, so, I'm just gonna let you do it. Yeah, yeah, let me do it. So we do want, do we want them to J out, or like, how should we J it? I, Which way should well, we J it? I don't it? think we need to J it, but why don't you go ahead and do whatever your heart mm. desires, and I'll let you know if it looks like it's gonna work or not. More importantly, yeah. All the people in the <laughs> comments, they're gonna let you know. All right, set that to 90. Okay. This is Let's... number five, five eight. I think we need to go a little more, don't you? I don't think so. Well, yeah, let's tell you what. Let's go a little bit more. Hey, what are you gonna do? Let's, Why would you go more? <laughs> let's, let's, go, let's go 180. I think that's what we need. Because it needs to be a J. It needs to be a J. Okay, fair enough. I respect that. <laughs> look, look at that. Now we got ourselves. That would be like an R. A J hook. Now See, we have that, a J hook. That's, got, that's gonna have some nice <laughs> uplift power. The uplift is going to be absolutely <laughs> astounding. So what do you think, Greg? Do you ever want to use a manual bender? Because you couldn't, you were having a hard time even bending. No, I couldn't even do that. He could do it, he could do it. <sighs> this is a pain in the butt, man. <laughs> The point is, guys, there's a tool out there for almost every task. A lot of times I find in talking to people on social media that they disrespect, dude. Sorry. The amount of people that don't or aren't willing to spend money on themselves, their business, to invest in something that will make their job easier because, well, I bought this rebar bender for 20 bucks and it works just fine. Yeah, it, it will work, but I always look at the opportunity cost of my time and how much are you gonna save? And anytime Greg and I are on the job site, there's a cost associated to that. And if this tool, which I've now had for how long? Probably three years? Three years, I would say, yeah. Three years, it still is operating perfectly fine. Every time we need to bend some rebar, which is not often, but it's always there doing it impeccably with very little effort, which saves me time and saves me effort out on the job site, which will save us money. So if this is something that you guys are interested in, I'll put a link down below. Obviously it's one of those items that I know 99% of you may not need or use, but the 1% of people that do this type of work, I promise you, you will benefit from having one of these. They do make a corded version. You don't save a whole lot of money, um, in my opinion, this just makes the most sense. To be honest, I think it even runs a little bit smoother, but you've got your bending, your cutting, all right here in a nice little package. And Greg, it was my pleasure to, to take that strain away from you so that you could put those J hooks on our brackets. Now, how many, how many brackets out there you got? I don't know, but I'm gonna go out there and I'm gonna J them all up. Well, I can promise you, you're at least gonna be able to put 520 J hooks on in one battery. So thanks a lot guys for uh, watching this video. Uh, thanks, Greg, for joining in on a tools day. Uh, we're actually going to go work now and uh, go make some money. So Sounds good to if me. If you guys enjoy this, hit the thumbs up button. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Greg's actually working off of likes today on this video. That's how he said he wanted to get paid today, so don't let him down. But that's your guys' call. We're going to get out of here. <laughs> See you later.